Hey guys, welcome back to Dudes Backyard Builds. I hope everyone is doing fine. Today's the day. We will be building this 5.3 LS from my dad's 1967 Camaro SS. They received the heads from the machine shop that the double valve springs put on, upgraded the valves, ported and polished, got the whole camshaft kit from Texas Speed and Performance. So guys, we are ready. So let's go ahead and start building this 5.3. Stay tuned. So guys, before building this 5.3, I just wanna let you guys know to please comment below. If you see me doing anything wrong, please comment below. Any feedback that I could get from you guys, I would really appreciate it. Like I mentioned on all my videos, I'm learning as I'm going. So I would really appreciate for the experts to comment below if I'm doing anything wrong. But guys, enough with the talking and let's get to work. Now I'm gonna remove the timing chain now. One very important thing you have to make sure piston number one is at top dead center. Okay, I want to show you guys. See both both circles lined up. Piston number one, top dead center. So now we're ready to remove the timing chain. Very important, you're gonna remove the camshaft now. Very important that you remove it as slow as possible because you don't want to damage the cam bearings. The cam bearings are very, very critical. So make sure when you remove it, you remove it real, real slow and careful. All right, guys, the camshaft is removed. I inspected all the cam bearings. Everything looks fine. No issues there. Something that's very important that I want to mention to you guys is camshaft retainer plate gasket. This is something that gets overlooked. I'm actually am a victim of 
losing oil pressure for not replacing this. So you see these two ports here? If the actual gaskets is damaged, you will lose oil pressure. So it's only like eight bucks. It's better being safe than sorry. Get a new one. So I'm gonna show you guys something now. Look how flat it is. Gasket is no good no more, guys. I'm gonna show you the new one. See it? I wanna get the part number, guys. This is the part number. It comes with the plate, gasket, everything. So before installing the cam, you want to add some assembly lube. chain is installed if you notice dot to dot piston number one is at top dead center so we good
guys have it. The only thing I am missing is to install the rocket arms, intake manifold, and the Harley mid mount pulley system. Those two parts I'm still waiting for. They're on back order. But other than that, everything is installed. But like how I mentioned on the beginning of the video, please guys, comment below. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys think. If you've seen I did anything wrong, please let me know. You know, I'm learning. Any feedback I can get from you guys, I will really appreciate. But other than that, I appreciate all the love and support I've been getting from you guys. But please hit that like button, subscribe, and thank you guys.